even after Matarisama dolls, which ended in failure, I could not forget about my dream of a performing calculation machine. Last year, I participated in a project at the University of Tokyo called The Role of Machines in Music Culture, and I was asked by the Berlin based English artist Martin Riches to collaborate on creating a work. I knew about his famous works such as The Talking Machine and The Flute Playing Machine and was convinced that he would be the ideal partner who would be able to fulfill my dream. I told Mr. Riches about my difficulties with Matali Sama dolls and about my proposal to create a new performing calculation machine and he was very excited about this idea. Together, we came up with various ideas for the mechanism of this calculating machine, finally resulting in the thinking machine. And this time, it really worked. The XOR calculation used in Matalisama was based on the formula new A equal old A plus B modulo 2. But the calculation performed in the thinking machine is expressed as new A equal 6 minus old A plus B modulo 3, called the Jaiken calculation. This was often used in reverse simulation music works. As suggested by the modulo operations at the end of these two formulas, the XOR calculation is a binary calculation that handles two states and the Jaiken calculation performs a ternary calculation that handles three states. Please watch how the three states, rock, scissors and paper change in sequence in the circle of six people. The rules can be expressed in words as if your partner is in the same state as you, continue in that state. If your partner is in a different state than you, then your hand changes to a third different state. I will introduce a simple realization that uses this Jaiken calculation as an example of reverse simulation music. <laughs> From the first idea of machine that emulate people emulating a computer, Matalisama dolls featured eight connected mechanisms performing calculation to represent the eight people. Yet, in the thinking machine project, Martin Riches made an important discovery. It was not necessary to have the same number of operators as people to achieve the same result. By providing a memory, a shift register, it would be possible to achieve the same result with just one operator. And so, in the thinking machine, we use six balls that function as six bits in the memory. To perform the same action with people, six people simply have to remember the states assigned to them. Needless to say, there is not a single element of chance in the Jaiken calculation. Once the balls have been loaded into the thinking machine in their initial order, the melody that follows will always be the same. In other words, there is no sequence data, the melody is generated by an algorithm. It is in this point that a fundamental difference lies between the thinking machine and the other works by Martin Riches, as well as all the automatic music instruments that have been created in the past. In all likelihood, this is the first such automatic music instrument in human history. Mathematically speaking, if we use six number of balls and we have three number of sounds, 
then we know that the thinking machine will be able to produce a total of 27 number of melodies. The thinking machine is a ternary computer that outputs melodies formed by three sounds as a result of the calculations. Whether binary or ternary, it is certainly a computer in Alan Turing's sense, although in this case the algorithmic mechanism is fixed so it is not a universal Turing machine. However, like all computers, the thinking machine is a logical machine with input and output that can process and store code, and is an actual object that expresses discrete time within real time. Furthermore, it is a machine and an artwork that forces us to think about media art by making visible and audible the fact that the computers which support contemporary society are driven by self-contained logical thought in dimension beyond objects. The thinking machine is also an important artwork which perhaps could not have been created by anyone other than Martin Riches, who has presented many automatic instruments as artwork in the past. In fact, he completed the thinking machine in its entirety, from the first experiments to the design of the mechanism and the final production. Yet, the melody it generates is also Miva music. In this way, it is quite like music from medieval Europe, where logic and music were thought to be the knowledge that would unlock the harmony of the entire universe. And yet, it can also be said that this project and this music is the ultimate algorithmic composition that has never been attempted by anyone else before.